What's up guys, my name is Hypertramp and we are back with another video of my ultimate team and firstly before we get started, um, yeah, if you know anyone else like director wise um, on YouTube that makes videos in your 10 or 11, same kind of reasons, they're probably not uploading much as well, just purely exams and stuff, um, yeah I need to be focused on them, I, I literally had like a 2 hour RE exam, um, which is boring because I don't even believe in God. But yeah, two hour RE exam. Um, got home. I'm, I'm recording at 5.10. It ended at like 4.30. Literally. I mean, like. I don't know. Stupid school. Can't do it in school time because they're idiots. Um, but yeah. So videos might still be slow. But I am actually going to try and make a video um, almost every day. Just because I do. <laughs> I have still been playing Xbox in that time, I just haven't really been bothered to film and when I have, I've got a video done not made it into an actual video. But anyway, uh, getting on to the squad. Now this squad I made myself, like I didn't get it off any website, I'm quite proud of it. Um, yeah, I actually am quite proud of it, it's a pretty good squad playing with it. Uh, enjoyable to use. And yeah, so... We have Fabio in goal, um, talked about him so much already, great keeper, best Brazilian keeper in the game, in my opinion, gay? In the game? Mm. Uh, in the game, in my opinion, I, I seem to be breathing a lot, like struggling for breath, I don't know why. Um, but, yeah, anyway, great keeper. Cicinho, right back, 90 pace, um, yeah, Brazil, pretty much the Brazil, uh, right back. 67 shooting is quite low, his right foot is actually really good. He also has 4 star skills as well, so yeah, he is the best choice for a right back. However, Ney is faster with sprint speed. He only has like 86 pace, but his sprint speed is faster. However, again, Cicinho feels quicker in the game because of his acceleration. Manuel, beast centre back. Um, yeah, pretty much just a beast. I got him instead of Antonio Ferreira just because I did. I don't know why chemistry purpose I guess but I think he still would have got nine chemistry anyway because all of his links are Brazilian but you know he's he's good he's pretty cheap now as well only 13.5k um, 78 defending 81 heading as well and 80 pace his shooting is awful though absolutely awful so don't shoot with him um, David Luiz J J Jesus Christ I can't talk but yeah David Luiz beast again um, great center back so frustrating to play against like his pace is insane, heading insane funnily enough even though it's only 79. Um, defending is great as well, he, he doesn't let much past him. Um, and yeah, he, he's extremely annoying to play against in this team as well funnily enough. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll tell you why when I get onto uh, this team a bit more. But Ashley Cole here, purely for chemistry reasons with... Uh, David Luiz, I mean, he fits in nicely, he's pretty good as well, um, 83 pace, 80 passing, uh, 79 dribbling, 79 defending, 72, he's good pretty much, he is a good left back, um, yeah, I think he is probably the best left back to buy uh, in the Premiership, in the Premier, I did say Premiership, um, maybe Clichy as well, this is in game by the way, um, Everett's a bit crap. But yeah, plus he also links up with Cariel, so uh, with the English link there. But Cariel, beast player, actually extremely fast. He is faster than Taylor. Um, I have played a couple of games where I've come up against Taylor, and Cariel has just beasted it past him. Um, pace, obviously, his stat is lower, but FIFA just does that. Um, awful shooting, something like 38 finishing or something like that. Uh, 40 shooting is his stat, but he does get the ball up quick bit of pace. Um, his passing is only 50 but he does get some good uh, passes through to the strikers um, and yeah he actually does get quite a few assists from passing through to the strikers. Gary Gardner, uh, 68 pace, 76 shooting, his shots are good, free kicks pretty good, I mean don't expect to score, I mean you probably score about 2 or 3 out of, out of 10, maybe a bit more depending on how good you are at free kicks. I mean, he's good for a bronze player, put it that way. Um, but 76 shooting, pretty good long shots. Um, rest really doesn't matter. 
63 passing it's okay nothing to worry about really um and 61 dribbling he does take decently big touches and i think he only has two star skills but i'm not sure about the two star skills um but yeah sometimes i find it hard to get round players to get a shot off but uh next we have mariah who definitely doesn't have two star skills he has five star skills one of my favourite players in this game, if I'm completely honest. Uh, 75 pace as well. You can play him as a striker. He is a lot faster than 75 pace in game. Um, yeah, he, he does work pretty well as a striker. For some reason, when I had him as, as a striker in my first Pro Silver team, I had him and Marlos up front. All that was happening was he'd get past players and then get fouled. Um, most annoying thing ever. Literally. Uh, couldn't do anything about it either. It was so annoying. But um, great, great long shots, insane long shots, one of the best in the game, and um, pretty good dribbling as well. So yeah, he is a good player. Michael Nieti, um, 91 pace, 70 shooting. His shots from like a, co a cross goal on the edge of the box are very, very good. Um, he is extremely fast, extremely good at dribbling. Um, if anyone had Ronaldo on FIFA 11, He's like that, basically, except without the insanely good finesse shots. Um, but yeah, I mean, he's got the five-star skills, and yeah, he is just a beast, to be honest. Um, yeah, oh, I'm guessing he's a bit smaller as well. But yeah, five foot six, he is slightly smaller. But for a winger, or even no, nah, I got him as a winger and switched him. But winger, 45 goals in 69 games is actually pretty good. So um, yeah. Moving on to my first striker, Marlos. I remember I sold one of my Marlos's for 500k once, um, and I bought this one for 73k as a striker in 41212. Um, 369 goals in 352 games. Insane left foot, and I mean insane when I say insane. Like dr driven shots just go everywhere that the keeper isn't, pretty much. Um, pretty good finesse shots as well. Uh, 84 dribbling, good dribbling. Um, sometimes I used to find him hard to get past players when he played in the centre in like a 4-3-3. In a 4-4-2 it is the easiest thing ever because you just, you know, you can, if you don't get past him you can just shoot. Because um, he's always on the right side most of the time to use his left foot. Um, but I'm pretty sure I said 5 star skills. Um, yeah, he is an extremely good player if you play him in a 4-4-2 or 4 one 2 one 2 or something with two strikers. Finally, um, Akin Fenwer, the team of the year. Uh, funnily enough, he gets injured a lot. I played games with him against friends. He gets injured like every two or three games. But um, yeah, you wouldn't have thought that from Akin Fenwer. 67 pace. He has 78 sprint speed and 50-something acceleration. It's not good. Um... Yeah, <laughs> he's slow. Um, until you get running, and then he is fast. Uh, step overs and fake shots are your friend when you're using Akin Fen. Well, also letting the ball run through your legs is your friend. You'll be using that a lot if you play him up front. Um, lots of people say he'd be better as a centre forward. I can definitely see where they're coming from. But I don't have a centre forward in this team, and he still manages to score like every game for me. Um, 75 shooting, 71 dribbling. His dribbling is pretty awful as well. Uh, obviously, he does have 99 strength in game. He has 99 shot power as well. Um, his, his shooting is actually very good. Uh, I have scored. I think I scored a pretty good long shot with him. I think it was yesterday. I know I scored it, but I'm not sure if it was yesterday. Um, it was from about 40 yards, uh, but sometimes you could just be like, don't don't go up against your friend and say that his shots are good until you've scored a good shot against them. That's what I did. I, I played up one of my mates. Oh, I, I scored a couple. Like, his shots are beast. Go up against another mate. Oh, his shots are actually pretty good, you know. Take a long shot. Boom! Rose Ed. Um, and it took me about, like, for some reason his shots were off that game. And then uh, another game I played, and he scored some some pretty nice goals, you know. Um, top corner, yeah. But my main advice for Akin Fenwa actually is um, you will be scoring a lot of like rebounds and stuff. Um, one on ones he shouldn't miss if he get if he manages to get past the defenders. Getting past the defenders is hard, um, but if you get past one, I would recommend if you're in a good shooting chance to shoot chances are you're going to score from that 
more likely like it's more likely that you'll score from that shot than you actually get in past the other defender um, also big touches are your friend if you get them in the right direction um, yeah so I was gonna show my other team but we're into like 10 minutes now um, and I need to say a couple of things as well so we won't but that episode should be coming soon um, it, it's kind of a, a joke around team it's not supposed to be amazing although it kind of is pretty good um, but it's just got a load of beasts in it some aren't actually beast some are um, for example I was gonna put Petrov in uh, like me, me and my mate have a lot of inside jokes about players um, and we were gonna put some of them in for the reason of those inside inside jokes but um, yeah basically that's it for the team moving on I am gonna be doing a 2v2 series with Josh um, hopefully I think we are we filmed one but I'm not gonna upload it because it was a bit bad um, but 2v2 series with him suggest teams that you want us to play with in that um, I think we're gonna start off with like Shrewsbury or Crawley because they both are I'm gonna say local I don't actually li my local team is AFC Wimbledon but uh, I have my own reasons for supporting Crawley and you can't say I'm a glory hunter because I supported uh, Crawley before AFC Wimbledon even existed so shh but um, yeah I think no that's not it what am I talking about um, then after that or not after that I'm also gonna be doing a 2v2 series with a guy that I need to get in contact with he probably is watching this video uh, it's cool. I think it's Mr. Tango HD. Um, I do want to do that series. Basically, it's like a kind of team of the week series. You give us a team to play a couple of two v twos with. We'll give feedback who the good players, bad players are. Um, yeah, but Josh Philip used to do it for one team, so we're uh, just gonna do it for one team in two v twos. Um, thirdly. I think later I'm going to film a League of Legends video. If you don't like it, don't watch it. Um, if you haven't heard of it, I recommend checking it out um, and seeing if you like it. Chances are you won't understand much of it, but um, I would recommend downloading it. It's free and we we are looking for to kind of try and make a team on there because winning is good on that game. It's fun. Um, if you start to get the upper hand in a game, it can be really enjoyable just because you see someone and it's like, oh, look, there's fiddlesticks, for example. Um, and it's just like, oh, cool. Yeah, it's like, there's a dead fiddlesticks two seconds later. It, it gets fun. Um, and so, yeah, but I have to ask him if he wants to actually do it. Um, and he's not online at the moment. So, yeah, but chances are we're going to make a video on that. And finally, I am selling coins. Um, I know lots of people are wanting to buy coins. Not many people are selling coins, so I am selling coins. Um, tweet me, or no, my, my Skype will be in the description. Uh, add me on there and message me about coins. Um, don't tweet me asking prices, just because, yeah, I'm not going to tell you on Twitter. All I'm going to tell you is go on Skype. Firstly, because prices change depending on how cheap I can get them or how I get them. Um, depending on who you are as well. Depending on how much you're buying and depending on how good your uh, bartering skills are. Um, yeah, so if you can convince me to go lower, I'll go lower. If you don't, well, you know. I might not. It depends how good you are at, uh, at haggling. No, but um, so this is like 14 minute video now. I think I still have the 15 minute limit ban, kind of, or well not ban, but the limit on uh, this channel. So yeah, oh, also I'm doing a dual con with George 7K FIFA soon, I think. Um, he asked me to do one, I said yes, but that was about as far as that went. Um, so yeah, I think that is it finally now. Um, thanks for watching guys, bye.